Hi guys, Isabella Green here. You often ask me to share experiences that I have during sessions. I actually had just had a mind-blowing experience and this is why I'm right here in front of the camera because I wanted to share this immediately. Um, the first, this person came to me uh, to track their cosmic journey, to track their incarnations and to see where their gifts are and to see what their purpose is. Um, and uh, the first thing that I saw as soon as we got out of the physical space and connected with the higher selves, bam, the first thing I see is uh, I am with him on the battlecraft. Um, how this how this happens is what I'm saying why uh, I'm with him is because during the sessions I merge completely with that soul stream so I get to experience what these beings feel what they um, what their life stories are what they're doing and it's it's I literally become them and then later I, I uh, return here and I take notes and then I spend some time reminding myself of who, who I am so that I don't linger in that parallel soul stream of the other person. So as soon as we get out of the physical, I'm on the battleship and it's a really small craft and uh, it's operated by Lyran or Luren. Um, I like to, to say Lyran. That's the being uh, um, a feline feline warrior being from uh, Lyran constellation, L-Y-R-A, um, and it's a really small craft that only has room for him and his counterpart, who is his partner in battle, and that's a dragon, and the dragon is huge, but somehow energetically the dragon is huge, but it, it, it can actually fit right into that um, small craft. Uh, to backtrack a little bit here, I did not know that uh, Lyran constellation is so ancient that they actually participated in development and actually seeding of uh, the guides to, to humans who are, for example, the Pleiadians. Uh, they actually, they also were master geneticists and they participated in creation of a lot of races, including the human race too. And then they had reptilian, uh, reptilian invasion. Uh, from what I understand, they got along with reptilian uh, nation, races really well back in the day, but then there was some sort of misunderstanding and then um, the wars uh, occurred or uh, there was the universe always moves towards balance. So the Lyrans being all positive and, and good guys and then uh, they they got so good that they had to be counteracted by the dark side too and so that's when the reptilians came but the reptilians blew up a lot of planets in that constellation and um, massacred a lot of a lot of population uh, of, of that constellation too and so as I'm tapping into this person's soul stream I'm seeing that uh, he's homeless there is no planet to uh, look back at but that that soul has been living on on craft for millennia and the mission that it's doing right there is clearing and, and uh, doing doing the cleansing and clearing uh, battle outside in space around earth and from what I'm getting that's also happening elsewhere not only around earth but uh, they're doing multi-dimensional missions all around the place these two beings one of them being a dragon and the second one is being that feline uh, Lyran being and I am <laughs> as I'm doing the session I am experiencing what it is like to be that being and, and to be in that space but then I also am experiencing the desire of the soul to teach humanity and to teach uh, beings around to not do these things. It's, it's almost like the peaceful, the playful warrior, the peaceful warrior who, who is forced into battle because uh, they, they are working on clearing the darkness. Um, but at the same time, uh, I'm feeling the innate space of the soul and there is so much kindness there and strength and the true empowerment and the true empowerment is really humble. Um, 
and that's the state of the soul and then um, I'm observing the incarnations of that person and that person has been a um, key player in major historical events throughout throughout uh, human history and most of the time was a commander in, in battle as well and always that desire all right we're now going to go into battle but it's only because we want to stop all wars the battle for the, in the name of peace which we now know that doesn't really work but in the old energy that was the the human idea of going into battle and so i'm observing that that being is out in space on the mission living on craft and and taking care of stuff that's in the non-physical space and in other constellations and around the galaxy but also here um, on earth and in the human incarnation too and that human incarnation is my client and so we move into discussion of the purpose of the soul directly with the soul. I, I re retrieve that information directly from the soul as I can feel that being so much and I feel the true honor and the kindness and the strength and the true empowerment. Um, I, I receive the message for the purpose of the soul on earth or for the purpose of this person's journey on earth. And the purpose is to empower men back into peace. Because when, when people are empowered, they know that there is no space, no place for war. That creates, that creates peace naturally. So the true empowerment the true honor, the true humbleness, the true uh, connectedness with the heart space, the knowing who you are. That's the type of personality, the type of man that have, has no interest in uh, creating war. So this person's beautiful mission on earth is to lead men into re-empowerment the true authentic empowerment of the human race and the human being that leads to peace because we're no longer in space where war is an answer to anything so I wanted to really quickly share this with you this was really so incredible for me to see and I have never been on the battleship like that right away the first the first thing I see is I'm on a battleship in space that reminded me very much of uh, stories of the Silver Legion and I wonder if that if that being is is a part of that group on on some level meaning on the non-physical level but he confirmed he told me he said yes I dream about uh, battle all the time I dream about uh, battle on earth which is the parallel timelines that he's tapping into uh, I dream about cosmic battle as well he said and that's what we saw um, in the session two and so what happened in that session was we pulled all of these timelines where he's all over the place in battle we pulled all that into the present moment anchoring the gifts the gift of leadership into peace so thank you for listening. If you'd like a session with me, uh, you can reach me at isabellagreen.com. Please use the session request form and I will get back to you to set up the time. Uh, I appreciate your time and listening and tuning in. I love you. Take care. Namaste.